everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 23. We need to go visit our cult! We haven't visited our cult in quite some time. We've got companions that we need to speak to as well. Should we speak to them now, or should we speak to them... We'll speak to them after we've, uh... Alright. Um, <laughs> that explosion, seriously. We'll speak to them after we've visited our cult. Um, we're gonna go the proper way. Sorry, I say the proper way. Not going out my ship and travelling... I don't know how many meters. We're gonna go the proper proper way by going to my stronghold and then going to Narshtar that way because that takes me into the promenade. <laughs> Amazing! See, I've got to be very careful as well with uh, how I'm sort of editing these videos because I'm worried I'm gonna to get to the final bit in the Sith Inquisitor story and the episode's only gonna be like 10 minutes long because you probably could just do the final final part of the Sith Inquisitor story of any class to be honest and it'll last, I don't know, 10. 15 minutes and I don't want it to be that I want it to be at least half an hour so I guess I I would try and find a way to sort of I don't know lengthen it out maybe but I can't remember what happens in the final part so when we'll 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 hit that block when we get there which won't be for a good what three four episodes yet I want to say there'll be an episode every single day of this week I mean there's gonna be an episode every single day of this week until we've completed this is the Quizster story. So I don't mean Friday, we're going to stop doing episodes this week. Oh, no, 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 no. Saturday there may even be an episode. Sunday there may even be an episode. We're not stopping this week until we complete this. Yes, because a Dark vs. Light event finishes November time, uh, end of November, and I want to try and get as much done as I possibly can. Um, so, yeah. Away we go. My cult! My lord, you've returned to us. My lord. You just said the my lord twice. The dragon who shakes the earth with a thought. Is it true you killed Darth Zash? And that you can bind ghosts and steal their power? My lord, take this. It's not much, but we want you to have it. Come by later, and perhaps I will demonstrate my power more fully. Oh, thank you, my lord, thank you. Weird. My lord, how delightful to see you again. Palladium! I am sorry to hear of your struggles with Darth Thanaton, but there can be no doubt you are the future of the Sith. I have kept our, uh, I mean, your cult well maintained in your absence. So what's this about my cult and the CN-12 sensor chip? I need one for a special project. The CN-12? Why, that was just some speculation, a side project of ours. But I am delighted if you would find it useful. Unfortunately, a new gang lord, the Vale, is giving us a bit of trouble. Our last CN-12 shipment was stolen, and our supply chain is dead. The Vale will answer to me. I hope so. The more the Vale interferes, the more costly this endeavor becomes. Uh, the, the Vale stays well out of view in Shadow Town. When I tried to negotiate, he said he would only talk to you, but I didn't think that would be possible. When will people learn? If I'm involved, they've already lost. People are stubborn, my lord, as I was. Indeed you are. Best wishes and good luck. Thank you. Um, so we're going to go to Shadow Town. I've just had a weird thought. Isn't there a Shadow Town in Coruscant? Am I remembering am I remembering that rightly? Um it's like the under like the underbelly of Coruscant. I'm probably remembering that incorrectly. I I need to Google it a second, hold on. No, I got that wrong. I don't know why I think that Shadow Town is also a place in Coruscant. What am I thinking of? Am I thinking of the works? I probably am to be honest. Where where am I going? Um going there. Going so I need to I need to take a taxi somewhere. Uh, Shadow Town is... I don't know. Um, I think... Isn't Shadow Town over here? Somewhere? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there and then we'll have to take a taxi somewhere. Okay, yes, I did come to the wrong area, so let's go find out where we're supposed to be going. Where's the taxi? Um, really? Over there? Okay, so over there we need to go, but we're not going to take a taxi because it's just quicker 
It's quicker to get to quick travel. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I yawn, I like to um make music with my yawns. I do it all the time. Where am I going? Um, through here. Uh, Vale, are you here? Hello. I am here as requested. Which one of you is the Veil? I am the Veil. No, I am the Veil. No, it is me. I am the Veil. Okay, we get it. You're the Veil. Fine. Let me just kill you all. Actually, none of us are the Veil. Because all of us are the Veil. Okay. Still, we are all very glad to make your acquaintance, Cult Master. What will it take to convince you to give me the CN-12? Your cult. Uh, the uh, of uh, Nar Shaddaa uh. do not want to enrich your silly puppet, Palladius. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12. I'll assume you're not dumb enough to demand such steep payment without justification. So what is it? What are you offering? The fool that runs your cult serves only himself. Why settle for a cult, when you can have an empire? Our resources extend beyond the CN-12. Armies need weapons, ships need engines. What does your cult provide you now? Donations? Artifacts? We offer that and more. Our reach extends across the galaxy. Simply send the signal from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy. Not just on Nar Shaddaa. Hmm. That's a decision. Do I want Palladius to still control? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like if I... I feel like if I let them take control over my cult, they'll turn it against me. Um... Should we run with it and see what happens? Let's run with it, shall we? It's a deal. You may take control of the cult, and I will take the CN-12. You have made a wise choice, my lord. Here is the CN-12. We assure you, you will not regret this. Why do you sort of... Why'd you do that? Just stand there like... I lost you there. Hmm. Behind me. Right. Does this mean I've got to kill Palladius? Guess we'll go find out. I mean, sure. I probably could have used Force of Persuade. I probably could have just killed them. Fine. But, I'm intrigued to see where this would go. So that's why I'm letting it happen. That's, what, that's why I'm going to see what happens, you know? I, no doubt some of you are being all, No! What have you done? You've ruined your whole cult! Probably have! Probably have, but I just, I'm just intrigued. Intrigued to see what's going to happen now. And we'll find out in the next few seconds, I suppose. Hope it's not made it for the worse. Oh no, Palladius, hi! I've probably ruined the whole cult. My lord, what is this? You've given the cult over to the veil? This was not what I had in mind. It was time for a change. I am not the apprentice I was. <laughs> I am a lord of the Sith, and I need powerful allies. Lest you forget, I am a lord of the Sith too, and was long before you were. I will not stand for this! Okay. Guess we've got to kill you again. I've already defeated you once. Do you really think you're going to win against me again? Like, really? Come on now. He just doesn't learn. And dead. Cool. I probably could have killed him in the cutscene, to be honest. But, eh. I wanted a fight. Why not? Now we need to return back to our ship. Are we going to go back to Drom uh, Dromacast, back to Korriban to get our companion now? We'll find out in a sec. I do hope we are, though. Because they've practically been building it up so much. Ooh. Which companion will it be? Will it be the human? Or will it be the Kalish? Ooh. 
I mean, it's obvious who it's going to be. It's going to be the human, of course. Of course it's going to be the human. I just had a beep. Somebody whistling outside. Somebody's whistling outside. I have no idea why. Hi, guys. My lord, you are very efficient. I promised you my respect and support, but you have also gained my admiration. I trust you've heard the bad news. Darth Thanaton's superior on the Dark Council died mysteriously. Darth Thanaton has succeeded him. His insistence on killing me has made one thing clear. Turning back is not an option. I admire your determination, but I don't know how the other Moths will feel about opposing one of the galaxy's twelve most powerful Sith. Now, more than ever, the silencer must be completed, and you must take the credit. The Moths must see the true future of the Sith Empire. When I kill Thanaton, none of this will matter. Then let us hope you kill him soon. I will contact you when the weapon is ready for demonstration. Good luck, my lord. My lord, the Belsavis machine. It's made you better, but it wasn't enough to drive the voices from your head, was it? Do you have a solution? Zash is indisposed at the moment, but we still have the writings of Darth Vilas. We should go to Voss. Your body is cured, but Master Ryan always said a Jedi's mind must be whole. It's the same for a Sith. You can't face Thanaton until you can control the dead you've bound. I guess we're traveling to Voss. I guess we're not getting our next companion right now. Okay, I wonder how long this episode's gonna be. Hmm. Well, we'll talk to all of our companions for the rest of this episode, and then we'll travel to Voss, sort of get the cutscene, and then we'll decide what happens next. I mean, it's like was I was gonna say who who the companion is. I mean, I think it's obviously who it's gonna be, but with our next companion, there's gonna be a bunch of companion story with him, and that's probably gonna be all done in like one episode. Great. Hey, I got an idea. You ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines, and just drift? I'm always looking for an excuse to waste time. You won't regret it, I promise. You ever find it funny how no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things? I didn't know you were so philosophical. When a pirate gets philosophical, it's just another word for going crazy. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now, you know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. Oh, so we are in a relationship. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. Don't you dare go. If you leave me, I'll kill you. <laughs> now you'll have to catch me first. I know he, I know he disproved that, but I, he, know, he knows I joke. I, I joke. You, you, you do know I joke, right? And John Coach, you know a joke. Please don't tell me I've just ruined my whole relationship there. No! My lord, I must ask a favor of you. Our mission. We cannot hope to accomplish it without help. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we recruit more Jedi to our side. Yes, I know. There are Jedi who would help us who would see that a strong rational empire is the only path to peace. Clearly, you have a particular Jedi in mind. Master Simon Walls is known by many as a wise, open-minded Jedi. He brought the Sith Lord Karis Vale to the light and oversaw his initiation into the Jedi. He has retired in seclusion to Alderaan for personal study and meditation, but young Jedi still make pilgrimages to him. I would like to make a pilgrimage, and if possible, Get his support. Not gonna work, but fine. I welcome any support we can get. I'll return quickly, I promise. And you failed. <laughs> Control your rage, Ashara. You're a Jedi. I can't believe him! I'm not a Jedi. He says I'm not a Jedi? Well, you're quick to anger, stubborn, and you left your training to follow a Sith. I'm not so sure you are a Jedi. Shut up. 
I'm not a Sith. I came to him for help, and he turned me away. It's not fair. I was the best Padawan Masters Ryan and Osara ever trained. I am a Jedi. Why do you cling to the Jedi Order? They will never accept you for who you are. I don't care. I'm a Jedi. I've never been anything else. You just the return it, of the though. Sith in this war has changed things. Sometimes compromise is necessary. Yes, I don't care what Master Simon said. Thank you, my lord, for helping me talk through this. With such rage. I like it. Talos. You'll never believe what I found. I thought I'd left this behind planets ago. Is it some kind of artifact? This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. Aww. I thought I'd lost it, but I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. So how did you go from discovering evidence of domesticated rancors to digging up Sith Lords? I know. Night and day, aren't they? That was Orcilio Gans doing. He was sort of my mentor. I've been digging up Sith artifacts ever since. Speaking of which, I have some new findings to analyze, if you'll excuse me. Alright. You are excused. Anybody else need to speak to me? Oh, probably Kem, actually. Kem, 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 Kem. No. Wait, Kem doesn't need to speak to me, because of course it's the trial of the... Ah, okay, I need to do the trial of the Shadow Killer. Should we go do that now? We will go do that now, actually. Let's head to Hoth. What was that? My word, that sounded like the explosion, which is normally here. But then it also sounded like somebody was using rocket boost at the same time. That was an explosion I've never heard before. Right, where is it we're actually going? We're going all the way over there, and I can't quick travel. Quick travel does not work here. Well, that's just great. Oh, it can work here, though. Good! That's just great. Can I... Should I go... Yeah, let's go to Frostwake. It's just outside, sort of, where I need to go. See, I could pick up this sort of stuff, but I just don't need it anymore, because... I've got the synth movie. And when I was doing my crew skills, I was using the Jawa junk and the scavenge scrap and whatnot to get the stuff that I needed. So I just feel like I, I just feel like I don't need to pick anything up. I need chem. Bye. Bye. And in Bye. we go. Vi what Okay, you just stop, why don't you? Alright, before I fall down! Ho! Oh. I was actually gonna I was actually gonna think, hmm, I'll do a trust fall. By the time I reach the edge. It will have appeared, but no, it was going down and down, so it's a good job I stopped. Uh hello. Entering storehouse zero zero two six. Oh. Antiquities to La Cordera. But I could The witch will pay. I will cast her into the body of the cat hound and devour her. I will feel her bones crunch beneath my teeth, and I will laugh. Uh This is too much of a coincidence. The witch will pay for her tricks. Check the storehouse's computers. Okay, computer is over here. Anyway, how are you going to crush uh, Zash's bones when she no longer has a body anymore? Just saying, Kem. Note to self. If my apprentice's Dashad fails to submit after the transfer, the bones of Tulak Horde could prove a useful bargaining chip. The bones of my master. What are you waiting for? Take them and let's get out of here. I can't. The sarcophagus that holds Tulak Horde's bones is trapped within the same dark energies that bound me in Nagasado's tomb. I feel them. And so we look the witch has trapped me. So if I recover the bones, I will be too weak to resist her. But I cannot leave those bones with her. Um. Whatever you do, you can't let Zash take control. No, I can't leave my master's remains to be defiled in the witch's possession. I'm still too like court servant. I would give him my life. I would give him my strength. Um. 
I, I feel like it's up to Kem. So do what you must. It's no matter to me either way. Thank you, my master. Ah, it's better. I can think so much more clearly now. Thank you. One more trick like this, and you'll be punished. I promise I'll be a good girl from now on. In a man's this body. This is my storehouse. You may have anything here you want. Now, let's go back to the ship, shall we? I don't know how long Kem will be weakened, and I have lots of reading to catch up on. Probably for not much longer, because there's more story I need to do, and... Nicodemus in in PC me ban from us to see the farm. He still talks to me, so that didn't last. Okay, we'll do a bit more talking with companions so I can make this as long as I possibly can, and then we'll be done for this episode. Uh, my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orcilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. Yes. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. When was the last time you spoke to him? It was before I went to Hof. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said he was on his way to Malachor III. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. Malachor III is pretty remote. He probably just fell out of touch. You're probably right. I can't help but think of something odd he said just before we left. He gave me the medallion and said something like, In case you need me. There's something in a medallion, I just thought clearly. he'd had too much to drink. <laughs> he did love to imbibe. Does the medallion have anything written on it? No, just old runes. Most of it nonsense. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Look at that medallion. Some more. Maybe you'll find something that might surprise you. Uh If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? I would have settled for not a slave. Yeah. I guess I would have felt the same in your shoes. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. I wonder if it was the right thing. I never really got the chance to choose. That's why I could never be a Jedi. Well, it's not as if the Sith gave you much choice, did they? I guess I'm still trying to figure out what I want. You want to follow me in being a Sith? Yes, Ashara, that's that's what you want. Yes, you want that. Level 45! Uh, I can't speak to Andronic Host, but I can speak to Kem. Hi. Please order your monster to settle down. His raging makes it impossible to get any reading done. In Bizoze, I will not settle down. This is my body, my strength, and you are the intruder. My master, how could you let this witch weaken me? It was your choice. You were the one who couldn't just leave Tulak Horde's bones alone. This fool will never accept responsibility as long as there's someone else to blame. I really am quite grateful. You've no idea how much easier it's been to think since the storehouse. And I have to say, I'm growing used to this body. It has its limitations, certainly, but such strength. That's a shame. Because the first chance I get, you're out and Kem is in. A pity? Because there are many more storehouses with many more valuable things. They could all be yours. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get some research in while the monster's at bay. Oh, Zash. You you make me laugh sometimes. Um, how much how, how much more do we want to do for the companion stuff? I say we'll go one more round. One more round, uh, and then we'll be done this episode. My lord, I've solved it. I figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing with a data chip inside. 
I'm beginning to believe your claims that your mentor was a genius. He was certainly one of a kind. The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderaan. I'm going to find him. Off we go. Alderaan's a big place, by the way, so good luck. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Orsilio Gam was already gone, and nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. I'm sure he'll turn up somewhere. Don't you worry. I've not given up hope. Detective work such as this isn't much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction, and Orsilio Gan taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. I do love presents. <laughs> Via Santinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. I don't know what it is, but my character is just so excited over presents. I don't know why. My lord, I know I'm not officially your apprentice, but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye, but I've learned so much from you and your example. You may not always follow the light, but you are good. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Don't tease. I'm serious. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of and freedom like the Sith. Be neutral so, then. Thank you. Ah, there you go, you find your calling, you're neutral. Good. Well done. Good for you, Ashara. And like I said, we'll talk to Kem once more and we'll be done this episode. And then we'll head to Voss for exciting times. Kem! How Sipe? Sith, you are more powerful than I had judged. Perhaps a worthy successor to Tulak Horde. Thank you, Kem. I'm honoured. I have not crushed so many since that time. I feel my old strength return. Yes, thank you, Apprentice. This body has some remarkable abilities. I'm beginning to rather enjoy it. For the last time, I'm not your apprentice. Not now, no. But you can't suppress the order of things. Jawais from Bama. Away witch, Sith, free me of this woman and my strength will be yours eternally. But how? How do I free you, Cam? So, we will finish for now, and then next episode we will head to Voss. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.